This presentation features the distinctions between innate immunity and adaptive immunity, active immunity and passive immunity, humoral immunity and cell-mediated immunity. Innate immunity and adaptive immunity Innate immunity is the inborn resistance against infections, and prior exposure to the antigen is not required. Adaptive immunity is the immunity acquired in response to foreign antigenic exposure during a person's lifetime. Innate immunity is always present, and it is nonspecific, and can recognize a broad range of pathogens. Adaptive immunity is triggered after exposure to pathogens. It is highly specific, and recognizes specific pathogen on latter exposure. Innate immunity shows rapid response, and the immunity remains throughout the life, whereas adaptive immunity shows slow response, and this immunity can persist lifelong or for a short span. There is limited diversity in innate immunity, but adaptive immunity shows high diversity. The host cell receptors, like toll-like receptors are non-specific in innate immunity, while T-cell receptors and B-cell receptors are specific in adaptive immunity. Immunological memory is absent in innate immunity. It reacts with equal potency upon repeated exposure to same pathogen. Adaptive immunity confers long-term memory. Memory cells trigger a faster response when re-exposed to the same pathogen. Innate immunity is inherited from parents to offspring, whereas adaptive immunity is non-inheritable. But, it is heritable from mother to neonates for a brief period after birth. Types of immune response in innate immunity includes inflammation, complement-mediated killing, phagocytosis, anatomical, and physiological barriers. Types of immune response in adaptive immunity includes antibodies generation, microbial destruction by helper T-cells, and cytotoxic T-cells. Neutrophils, macrophages, dendritic cells, natural killer cells, eosinophils, and basophils are the cells of innate immunity. Cells of adaptive immunity are B lymphocytes and T lymphocytes. Innate immunity is found in both vertebrates and invertebrates, whereas adaptive immunity is found only in vertebrates. Active immunity and passive immunity. In active immunity, antibodies are produced by Bode's own immune system in response to pathogen or its antigen. In passive immunity, ready-made or preformed antibodies are passively transferred from an immunized individual to the non-immunized one. Active immunity occurs when our own immune system is responsible for protecting us from a pathogen. Passive immunity occurs when we are protected from a pathogen by immunity gained from someone else. Active immunity is slow, but usually long-lasting. Passive immunity is fast, but short-lasting. In active immunity, there is an active role of host immune system, and there is a time lag in providing protection, whereas in passive immunity, there is no involvement of host immune system, and there is no time lag in providing protection. Active immunity does not develop overnight, but passive immunity rapidly boosts our immune system and provides instant protection. There are no negative side effects, and negative phase may occur in active immunity. Passive immunity has the potential to produce responses, and there is no negative phase. Latent period is from 4 days to 4 weeks in active immunity, while there is no latent period in passive immunity. Immunological memory is present in active immunity, and this immunity is more effective and offers durable protection, but immunological memory is absent in passive immunity, and this immunity is less effective and offers inferior protection. Active immunity is not applicable in immunodeficient individual, and there is booster effect on subsequent dose. Example, tetanus vaccine. Passive immunity is applicable in immunodeficient individual, and subsequent dose is less effective. Example, anti-tetanus serum. Humoral immunity and cell-mediated immunity. B cells are the main cells that activate humoral immunity. Other cell types include helper T cells and macrophages. In contrast, T cells activate cell-mediated immunity. Other cell types include helper T cells, cytotoxic T cells, natural killer cells, and macrophages. Plasma B cells produce antigen-specific antibodies in humoral immunity, and hence called antibody-mediated immunity. In cell-mediated immunity, 
T cells secrete cytokines, and effector cells are produced. Humoral immunity acts against antigen, but does not induce apoptosis of pathogen. In cell-mediated immunity, cytotoxic T cells lyse the infected cells by triggering apoptosis. Humoral immunity targets extracellular pathogens and their toxins, whereas cell-mediated immunity targets intracellular pathogens. Humoral immunity shows rapid and short-term response, cell-mediated immunity is delayed and shows long-term response. Humoral immunity is the first line of defense and is always active in body fluids, but cell-mediated immunity is considered as the second line of defense, and its activity is centered on the location of antigen-presenting tissue. Humoral immunity provides defense against bacteria and viruses, but not against cancer cells. Cell-mediated immunity provides defense against bacteria, viruses, parasites, and tumor cells. Humoral immunity involves B-cell receptor and recognizes unprocessed antigens. Cell-mediated immunity involves T-cell receptor and recognizes processed antigens that are presented by MHC complexes. Humoral immunity does not act on tumor cells and transplants, whereas cell-mediated immunity acts on tumor cells and transplants. Ig-alpha, Ig-beta, CD40, CD21, and FC receptors are the accessory receptors of humoral immunity, while CD2, CD3, CD4, CD8, CD28, and integrins are the accessory receptors of cell-mediated immunity. Thank you for watching. Please do like and share this video. Also, click on the subscribe button and hit on the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos.